So in this problem, in a large town, one person in 80, on average, has blood type X. How many donors must be taken at random in order that the probability of including at least one donor of type X is 0.9 or more? Part A, use a binomial distribution to solve the problem. OK, so let's split the board. So on this side, we're going to use the binomial distribution. So X is a binomial distribution. Well, maybe I shouldn't use X because we've got blood type X. Um, let's choose Y. Y is a binomial distribution where I don't know N, but I know that the probability is 1 in 80. OK, so N is what I want to find. Now here it says the probability of including at least one donor, so the probability of getting at least one, so greater than or equal to one, has got to be 0 0.9 or more. So that's got to be greater than or equal to 0 0.9. So the probability of y being greater than or equal to 1 is the same thing as 1 take away the probability of y being equal to 0. Now if I subtract 0 0.9 for both sides and add probability of y being equal to 0 to both sides, I can rearrange this to write probability of y being equal to 0 has got to be less than or equal to 0 0.1. So I've moved on to the other side, I've taken 0 0.9 from both sides, and now I can write that. Now, because I don't know n, I'm going to have to use the formula for the binomial probability, which is ncr, so n choose 0, times by the probability to the power of 0, times by the probability of failure, so 79 over 80, to the power of n take away 0, so n, and that's got to be less than or equal to 0 0.1. Now n choose 0 is just going to be 1, Okay, regardless of the value of n that we're working with. So that's 1, that's 1, so we've just got 79 over 80 to the power of n has got to be less than or equal to 0 0.1. Now in order to solve this inequality, I'm going to take natural logs of both sides. That's probably the best way to do this. I mean, you can go to logarithmic form if you want, but you've got to be very careful with that inequality sign. Is it flipping or not? OK. So if I take natural logs of both sides, I'm going to get natural log of the left-hand side, bring the n down to the front. So n times the natural log of 79 over 80 is less than or equal to the natural log of 0.1. Now, the natural log of 79 over 80 is negative. So when I divide through, it flips the inequality symbol. So I'm now got, going to have the natural log of 0 0.1 divided by the natural log of 79 over 80. OK, can't do that one in my head, unfortunately. So natural log of 0 0.1 divided by the natural log of 79 over 80. And so n has got to be greater than or equal to 183.0531, etc. So you'd have to have over 183.0531, so you'd have to have at least 184. Okay, so you'd need to take 184 donors, at least that, uh, in order that the probability of including at least one donor of type X is 0 0.9 or more. OK, so that is doing it via the binomial distribution. So part B, does using a Poisson approximation give the same result? OK, so let's call the Poisson distribution Z. OK, now I'm going to do n times 1 over 80. So n over 80 for lambda. And in the same way, I want the probability of z being greater than or equal to 1 is greater than or equal to 0 0.9. So that's 1 take away. The probability of z being equal to 0 is greater than or equal to 0 0.9. Take 0 0.9 for both sides. Add probability of z being equal to 0 to both sides. So the probability of z being equal to 0 is less than or equal to 0 0.1.
Okay. So, now I've got to use the formula for the Poisson distribution. So that would be e to the minus lambda, so minus n over 80, times by lambda, uh, so n over 80, to the power of r, which is 0, over 0 factorial. Now, n over 80 to the power of 0 is just 1, and 0 factorial is 1. So we have e to the minus n over 80 has got to be less than or equal to 0 0.1. Now, take natural logs of both sides. So minus n over 80 has got to be less than or equal to the natural log of 0 0.1. Multiply through by minus 80, so n has got to be greater than or equal to minus 80 times the natural log of 0 0.1. Okay, so minus 80 times the natural log of 0 0.1, and I get 184.2068, etc. So if I use the Poisson approximation, it actually turns out that I would need at least 185 um, to 185 donors to be taken at random, rather than the, at least 184 that the binomial model suggests. So the answer, although close, um, they don't give exactly the same result.